In keeping with the traditional upgrade path, the time is drawing near for the next version of iPhone OS 3.2. With the first betas on the way any day now, let's take a look at what's likely to come. In the latest iTunes update, two new formats were introduced, iTunes LP and Extras. iTunes LP is the new album format that incorporates many nice additions such as cover art, animated lyrics, videos, and more. iTunes Extras aren't quite as special as they mostly include the same kind of special features in a movie as you would find in a DVD. However, both could be included in iPhone OS 3.2. Apple has spent the past two months since releasing iTunes 9, porting over the new features to the Apple TV, so there's no telling whether it may be coming to the iPhone and iPod Touch. There are the problems of getting the size of the content to work on the small screens, which is why I'm leaning more towards just iTunes LP coming and not extras. Who knows, though? One new thing that could be on the way in iPhone OS 3.2 is support for 720p video. The new iPhone 3GS and iPod Touch 3G both are capable of recording, at least in the 3GS's case, and playing back HD video. It wouldn't be a stretch for HD video playback via a new component cable to come via the 3.2 update as it would certainly put the latest iDevices on par with the Zune HD in that category. Likely the only thing standing in the way is battery life. The processor in the devices is actually underclocked by a considerable amount to keep it from burning through the battery in just a couple hours. It would be interesting to see if the Zune HD is a big enough motivator to Apple to remove this restriction, even if only in limited circumstances to allow the devices to handle 720p video. Something always possible is a UI update. While iPhone OS was a real shock in 2007 once it was released, it is decidedly average as of late compared to many other mobile operating systems, such as WebOS and Android. This sort of decent overhaul will likely be saved for 4.0, but smaller tweaks are always possible. The one thing that I would bet on most heavily to come in iPhone OS 3.2 is certainly the addition of a radio application, similar to the one in the iPod Nano 5th generation. What many people don't know is that, since the iPod Touch 2nd generation, the iDevices have been equipped with Wi-Fi chips that work as FM radios. Some rumors have been circulating about Apple finally unlocking this capability, just as they unlocked Bluetooth in 3.0. The iPhone 3GS and iPod Touch 3G are almost certainly ringers for it, but it's unclear if they will add it for the iPod Touch 2G. I tend to think that they will, as they are still selling the 8GB model, and seeing as it's perfectly capable, I see no reason why to cripple it unless they think that they need to make the newer devices look more special. Sadly enough, the iPhone 2G and 3G, as well as the iPod Touch first generation, can't use the radio regardless. So there you have it, my predictions for what's on the way in iPhone OS 3.2. The first betas are overdue, so it likely won't be long until we know more, but I think this covers most of the likely scenarios. What do you guys think? Do any of these sound good to you? Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching.